Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you all a go-to holiday look for me that I really love. If you're going to like a party at night or something and you want to look just classic and you want your makeup to look done and sophisticated and just pretty, this, this is what I would say to go for. If I go to like a holiday party at night or something, this is what I like. You know, I, I like my eyes to look done and dark and smoky and pretty and a little extra, but not super over the top. I still like to look sexy and sophisticated and just glamorous and like classy. I don't want like glitter all over the place or anything like super colorful or crazy on my eyes, especially if I'm going to wear red lips. And so I'm going to share with you my favorite way to red lip wear red lips and my favorite combo and everything so um so yeah i hope that you guys enjoy the video i um i have like one hair that's just like you know it's annoying so anyways i hope that you guys enjoy the tutorial and that you'll try it yourself and if you want to see exactly how i did it then keep watching so first i'm starting with the laura mercier caviar stick and cocoa and it's gonna look really crazy and dark right away but that is all right, we're just gonna blend it out with my finger. I love these Sigma brushes to blend too. This is the P84. So after I got it pretty soft, I'm just sort of going around to make sure that everything's really smooth. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna put shadow over it. I'm taking my YSL palette and I'm gonna go ahead and just start right in with this middle darkest color. And I'm just going to layer that right over the brown. I'm going to take a little of the same color on a pencil brush and just get it right up underneath my lower lash line. Before I do anything else, I'm going to do my under eye concealer slash brightener. I totally forgot to do that when I was doing my foundation. So I'm just sort of blending that in as usual. And I'm using the MAC Radiant Rose for that. We can touch it up when everything's done. But I always like to go ahead and have that down so that you don't mess up your under eye actual eyeshadow when you are blending. Even though we have a little bit under there already, it's fine. We can touch it up more in a bit, but it's fine. Then I'm going to take this color right here, which is that medium brown. I'm using an E35 brush, and I'm just going to go right on the edge of that darker color and blend it up from my crease just slightly on my brow bone. We don't want the color to be like crazy and way far up our brow bone because we're going to do pretty bold lips too. So we don't want this to get too out of control. But I just love the look of these like softer, smokier browns. You can blend that a bit with an E40 brush. We probably won't even have to use any of that lighter tan brown because this really kind of ties everything together anyways. So we don't need any more like blending colors. So it's just really soft, super, super easy. Next, I'm going to take the light color in the palette right there and just put it right there on my inner corner. Do just a little under my brow. I've already done my brows. I used the um, Anastasia Brow Wiz and Taupe. Super easy. Okay, so really easy for the eyes. I don't think that's super complicated. I am going to add lashes, which I rarely do, so I'm going to use a really thick not super thick, but a line of black rather than like a brown or something. This is just going to help the base of the false lashes look a little more natural, like they blend right in. You just won't be able to see the track of the lashes so much. I'm using the Kat Von D uh, liner and trooper for this. So before I apply lashes, I always do my mascara, and I'm using the YSL Baby Doll mascara. I have a little sample of it, and I've had this in the full size before, and I remember liking it okay, but I really like this stuff. It's, it's pretty good. Don't want to get too crazy with explaining the false lashes, but they're really a lot simpler than you think. Just put a tiny bit of adhesive right along the track, let it set and get tacky, like thicken up for just 
um, about a minute or so. Probably about a minute would be good. And I just kind of go like that to speed it along. That way it'll grab onto your, um, to where you're putting it a lot better. <laughs> I just always get the kind that dries clear. I find that if you put the right amount on there, you won't see it anyways because it dries clear. I don't really like the black kind for me because I think sometimes it can look a little chunky and it can look a little like, I don't know. I mean, it's it's fine, but it's just hard because sometimes you can actually see it. You need to get a closer up mirror. So with tweezers or your fingers, most of the time I just use my fingers. I apply them and I start with the outer part. I sort of place them based on where they're going to hit on the outer edge. And just sort of work them in and get them really stuck. Tweezers really help with that. And you're good to go. So that makes a pretty big difference. I really like these. They just look soft. They're not like super gigantic or imposing or anything, but they, they just look really nice. So these are some of my favorite lashes. I'm gonna let these set for a bit. I think I'm gonna go curl my hair and then we'll be back and we'll do the lips and stuff. Okay, so next I'm going to take a bronzer and this is the Chocolate Soleil. This is the medium deep one. And even though I'm very fair, this one actually works the best for me. So I just sort of stamp it right there where I would contour. We're gonna do a little bit more contouring than I normally do. And I'll show you what I do for that. But when I do bronzer, I just start in the areas where I would contour and then I just kind of blend it out. You know, like in a more like larger, softer area. And I'm using my angled Chanel brush. The, um, I meant to mention the light version of that bronzer is a little orangey and a little too bright for me. So, um, the medium deep one just is perfect. And it smells really good. Now most days this is definitely enough and I don't go crazy with contouring or anything, but some days I like a little something extra. So when I contour and I'm gonna like actually go extra to contour, sometimes I'll just use my bronzer, which the tones are very similar to that of like a typical contouring product, but I have a tutorial on this Anastasia contouring palette that is ages and ages old, but it's still, it's still what I reach for if I want like if I'm gonna just do something extra. And I feel like for a holiday party, why not? And I really like these types of brushes. This is an F84, which I love for my, um, uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say? For foundation, but it's really good for contouring. So I'm gonna get this uh, middle color right there and just sort of dab it on. And then go right into my cheekbones. We've already got the base of that bronzer, so it's like you don't have to blend as much. It's not like it, you can. It's not like you can get it looking too scary. So cause sometimes with contour you can go overboard. You can sort of play with the other colors. They can kind of like brighten it up a bit. The one in the middle is the most. I think like the most like muted one. But if you add the ones on the left and the right that are a little brighter tan, um, you can get you can make it look just a little brighter. And then do the same thing just right here at your temple, kind of going down to the arch of your brows. That's where the, um, the darkest should be on your forehead. You don't want it to be like a big stripe like that. So I kind of connect it going down and then just a little bit like that. And then you can do just a tiny little bit right there, but I've already got bronzer, so I don't worry about that. And then I get just a little bit more and I go right down my nose. And this looks like a big brush to be doing that, but it's curved, so really the part that's touching is just right there. And I really don't like to contour my nose a lot. I don't do it a whole lot, but who cares, why not? So that's that. I think contouring should just be really subtle. Um, I don't I don't like it when it looks like a mask and like you've painted it on. Um, and then for these colors, if you're really fair, they're really not gonna do a whole lot, you see? But um, I take that yellow color sometimes and go like that 
and mix it with a little bit of the pink on top. And that, well it's not pink, but it's the one that is a little more pink in tone. And then it gives you a brighter result. But a lot of times I just like to use my Hourglass Ethereal Light. I think that looks, um, that looks great. And I'll take my finger sometimes and just go down my nose with the last shade, that pink shade. It's kind of like a shell. It's not like pink pink, but it's just very natural. I think that's a, nat a really natural, nice one. And then, then I take like a duo fiber brush and you can go into this color right here, which has the um, a bit of shimmer to it. I just sort of put it right there on my cheekbones. And the Laura Mercier Secret Matte Brightening Powder is another one that I use. That's, is that what it's called? The Matte Radiance looks like this. That one actually works better. It gives you a little more radiance. So I do that before I do my blush. And then the blush that I have been loving lately is this one by Bare Minerals and it's called The One. And I can open it. It's really, really pretty. And it just sort of works with everything. And then for my lips, I was kind of going back and forth between Dubonnet or Dubonnet, however you want to pronounce it, and MAC Red. But I think I'm just going to go all out and do red because I don't really wear bright red a lot. So I've got to get my red lip liner. So when I'm doing a red lip, I find that I like to do something a little different rather than using like a red red pencil or a darker pencil. I think sometimes it's prettier if you use a pencil that's a little brighter. And this one is very like neon and bright and it's called a blaze. And it's sort of like a really bright corally color. Like a corally pink. It's honestly going to make the red look a bit less harsh. And rather than it looking like... It's just really hard to explain, but I just I think this is just pretty. It, to me, sort of softens the red, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, it's pretty. It still gives you a line and keeps it defined looking, which is important for reds. But it's not so harsh red. And then I'm going to use MAC Red, which is one of my favorite. If not, this is probably my favorite red that MAC makes. And I'm not going to like paint it on like crazy. Just doing like little wispy swipes. You can actually take the lip liner to clean it up a bit or you can take a brush. But you shouldn't really have to do a whole lot of that. It's just really pretty and holiday-ish and I just love, I love red lips and perfect for a nighttime holiday party. So the colors are very, you know, your eyes are very done, your lips are very bold, but that it doesn't come out looking like overboard. So still really sophisticated and pretty, but it looks very glamorous at the same time. So very go-to holiday look for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you'll try this out and that you'll have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. So I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.